cashed in $23,000 today, $20,000 yesterday. Tomorrow, I'm going to the Lambo store and buying every single car on the freaking lot because I'm just that guy. What is good, my people? We are back again with another gem. Listen, today, you know what I'm saying? We are back with yet another day trading recap. I did the one yesterday. Y'all seem to have enjoyed it. I got great feedback. I got people DM me on Instagram saying that was such a great video and all this stuff. Please put more out. So we back for day two, the day after. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday, I think I racked in $20,000 on that trade. Um, and today we called another great trade. We are positive. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly how much I made yet, but I will hop into it in just one second. All I got to say is smash the like button. You know what I'm saying? If you enjoy these type of videos, if you want me to keep doing them, you have to keep smashing the like button because I'm going to need the motivation so I can keep doing it every single day, no matter if I win, no matter if I lose, no matter if I break even, no matter if I don't take a trade. The consistency needs motivation, and the motivation comes when you smash the like button. So smash the like button and subscribe. Because I know there's a couple people watching this that have not subscribed yet, and I don't know why because I'm the best Forex trader. I'm the most entertaining Forex trader in the entire world. But you already knew that, so hit the subscribe button. And the post on cash bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. And honestly, man, let's hop right into this. Wait, wait, before we hop into the video, every trade I take, every single trade I take is posted inside my signals chat. This is the first link inside the description. It's also in the comment section down below. So if you want to tap in and hop in the trades when I hop in them, sign up for the signals channel. Put a bunch of testimonials up there. Bye, 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 bye. You know what I'm saying? We got a bunch of people in there making money. It's not just me. You know what I'm saying? It's great vibes in there. And that's not even, this signals ain't even the best part. It's the whole free course that's included in it. So you can trade by yourself. You can say F Josiah at the end of the day, learn how to trade yourself, start printing money yourself, and not have to rely on my signals. That is the most valuable part of the signals chat. So if any of that sounds enticing, nice, beautiful, amazing, something that you want, link inside the description. It's also a link inside the comment section down below. So go tap in. And without further ado, let's for real hop into this video now. All right, so boom, here we are, NAS 100. As y'all know, this is really the only pair that I trade. I, I'm very loyal to this girl, you know what I'm saying? Very loyal to NAS 100. I, I, it's, it's just, I learned her in and out, you know what I'm saying? And then you just, I was about to say abuse, but we don't abuse women. Even though NAS 100 is not 100% a woman, it's still weird. So I'm going to just say we, we capitalize off of NAS 100 once you learn her in and out. You know what I'm saying? It's the same strategy I use all the time. The same strategy that's in my course that's in the signals chat. So if y'all want that, go to signals chat. But, you know what I'm saying? This is it. This is what I'm seeing in the morning. If we put on our kill zones, going to the 15 minute time frame. Um, basically, this is the London high right here. And we have our London low down here. Now, me personally, I'm, I'm thinking NAS wants to go up. And this is this was actually, this was actually kind of like a weird day because NAS kind of broke out of the London high. Um, before 8.30 Central Standard Time. Usually, it doesn't do that until after 8.30 Central Standard Time, but it had it above here, then it never really went back and stayed in the middle of the London high and the London low, which was kind of weird. Um, so the trade I took this morning was a little bit not what I'm used to seeing all the time. This only happens a very small amount of times, but I still felt confident in the trade. And um, yeah, so I drew my London high and my London low on the 15 minute time frame. Then I'm writing, then after that, I'm on the five minute time frame. And I'm just watching. I'm kind of just watching to see what the heck I want to do. Keep in mind, I don't hop into any trades until after 8.30 Central Standard Time, which is 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. And that's due to the fact that that's when the market actually opens and actually people are in work and actually doing stuff in the stock market. So that's why you'll see price movement go crazy on the 8.30 candle. I'll show you a perfect example of it. Um, today, actually, it didn't do too crazy. It didn't do too crazy of a move at 8.30. So this is the 8.30 candlestick right here, big red dump. Um, down here and I thought it was going to come all the way down here This is originally what I had planned price to come down here come up retest the London box then give a reversal Then I was gonna go in for a sell down here for something like this For something like this, um, that's kind of what I was looking for in the morning time um, But then it never as you see price kind of went back up. It never really stayed in between um london high and london low so at this point when i'm seeing this kind of respecting this london high um even though it did close under the box if you look on the 15 minute time frame it did not it wicked up um so that's really what i was basing it off of then we saw it came down again to test this box it rejected it again and then we see it comes down again rejected it and it's just um honestly at this point i'm seeing this right candlestick I'm, i just want to take y'all through like my eyes you know what I'm saying? so y'all can see exactly like 
what the heck I'm thinking this entire process. So I'm like, okay, it's really struggling to go up on the upside because we have multiple different rejections to the upside. We even had price break this last high because we had a kind of a price right here that price did not want to break with them. It broke it right here. But as we see, it did not close above it. So that was invalidated. So I'm figuring there's no buying pressure. It's just more so selling pressure here. So I'm expecting price to again, come and kind of come down here, break through the London high, um, then go back up and retest it, then drop all the way back down. But that's not what ended up happening. We did have price come down and test it um, and close beneath the London um, high. And then price came up one more candlestick right here. And this was my determining candlestick. This one was like, okay, if price does this, I'm hopping in. If price does this, I'm hopping in. So I was cool with either sell or buy here because this could have been considered a breakdown and then a retest of the London high. Um, so once I'm seeing this, I'm like, okay, this next candlestick, either way, no matter what this next candlestick does, I'm hopping into the trade because if the candlestick end up making um, another high up here and main, making a candlestick up in this direction, then I'm hopping in to buy because it's still respecting this London high um, session. But if price, if I get a red candlestick and price comes down here and gives me a nice little um, bearish engulfing or any really indication that it's rejecting this London high zone, um, then I'm going to hop into a sell. So at, I'm looking at this black candlestick and I'm like, okay, the next candlestick, no matter what, I'm, I have myself a trade. You know what I'm saying? And what did price do next? It came down, tested it, but then ended up ultimately rejecting this box right here. And I literally hopped into the trade right on this candlestick. And since it was still respecting this London high, all I did was put my stop loss right below um, the London high. I could have put it below here, but I ended up just um, putting it right here. It's a little more risky, but um, I went with it and it did end up playing out. And as you guys know, halfway through my trade, I have my first take profit, which will be um, where I move my stop loss to break even and basically give myself a nice little free risk free trade at that point. You know what I'm saying? And also had lined up with yesterday's um, London low, which is right here. We have this box to drive it along. So my halfway mark perfectly lined up with this area right here. And if we watch it, we saw a price. I really didn't have any drawdown at all in this trade. Um, but as we see, price came and literally touched this zone. Then it hesitated in the zone for a little bit um, before finally breaking above it. Um, so my, at this point, when price came up here, I moved my stop loss to break even. And then, now this was a risk free trade at that point. Um, and then my take profit was actually I never explained that. But my take profit was literally this, this high right here, which also lines up with yesterday's um, London high. Um, and that was basically my take profit. That was a safe take profit. I could have had my take profit up here as well to line up with um, the actual high point of yesterday. But I was happy with this nice three to one risk to war ratio with it being right here with a little safer bet. And um, like I said, price was kind of playing around at this yesterday's previous London low area. Um, but it ultimately did end up breaking above it and just shooting all the way freaking up after that. Um, and hitting our take profit smooth simple easy cover girl that's not even a thing it's how did how did the ad how did the commercial go for cover girl i don't freaking know but um smooth easy beautiful cover girl i don't freaking know it's something like that but this trade was nice we didn't have any drawdown at all as y'all see it just went straight into profit basically put us to break even almost um within 10 minutes and then hit our take profit a little bit later so Action at actuality, I was in this trade for one hour and 55 minutes and I was able to bag in after commissions and fees and all that around $23,500. Um, I can actually pull it up right here. $23,600. Y'all can't see. I'll try and put a picture of it on the screen up there if I remember. Hopefully, I freaking remember to do it. But cashed in $23,000 today, $20,000 yesterday. Tomorrow, I'm going to the Lambo store and buying every single car on the freaking lot because I'm just that guy. You know what I'm saying? That's all jokes. I really, I don't, I'm not really a car guy at all. Like, all these people be buying cars and watches. I'm not into none of that, realistically. Like, I, I, that's the thing about me. I don't know what to spend my money on because I don't like nothing. That's, that's the problem. The money just kind of builds. Well, it's a good problem, I guess, but I'm not flashy, unfortunately. But that's the end of the video. That is whole, my whole um, day trading or day trading recap or whatever the heck it is. Um, but yeah, I did not see any more trades because the only other trades I would have taken is if price came up here, rejecting it, went all the way back down here to this area, then get a reversal. I would have hopped into the same exact trade twice, maybe, um, and had this little same exact trade. 
but it didn't. Price literally just went up. I actually, if I had held it, I would have made a lot more money as well. Um, yeah, so I could have caught a one to five risk to a ratio um, if I held it, but I didn't hold it. I decided to just be happy with my $23,000. I think anybody would be happy with $23,000. I'm not going to lie to you, but... That is the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram over there. I think it's over there or over there. I don't know. Over there at Juver underscore. Uh, make sure to follow me because I'll be posting a lot of times when I'm in it trades. Like today, I was kind of keeping people updated when I hopped in it. Um, and also just like showing y'all the progress during the day. In the beginning, I was up 4,000 and 10,000 and 20,000, whatever it was. It's, it's just lit vibes on my Instagram. And I'm about to do a giveaway on there soon because I'm about to do a challenge on my YouTube channel. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is. But I'm about to do a fun challenge. I'll probably do it tomorrow or something like that. Um, and basically, whatever amount I make on that account, I'm going to actually be doing a giveaway through my Instagram. So make sure you're all tapped in um, on my Instagram account at Juver underscore. Like I said, it's over there or over there. I don't know. And plus, y'all can DM me, ask me any questions. I'm a cool guy. I respond to good questions. Just don't ask me to send you money because I'm not doing it. Remember, I told you I don't like spending my money. I don't, I don't just give people money for no reason. That's a lie. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Make sure you smash the like button if y'all want more of these so I can stay consistent with them. Wins or losses or break evens or no trade days. Just smash the like button. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And um, yeah, I'm going to see you on the next video. I don't know how to end these things out. <laughs>